wonderful to behold. Anybody's afraid of loud bangs? Well, uh, put some cotton wool in your ears, because there's a nasty shotgun coming on. So let's give them a very big welcome. Adrian and Caroline Slater and the Kimbridge Gundocks. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Who's into dogs then? Put your hands up, guys. Come on. Right. We're going to play with some puppies. Everything you've seen on dog training, guys, has a foundation. So we, we designed this little foundation with these puppies so that we gun dogs, nobody really seems to do anything till they're six months of age. But these puppies are seven months of age and we've been doing this foundation since they were 12 weeks of age. So now they're really polished and ready for the actual gun dog scene. So we're just going to do a simple sit. Yeah, everybody's probably going to sit with a treat. So we're going to touch that nose, take it to a chest, let that puppy look us in the eyes. Then we're going to treat him. Brilliant. Give him a big round of applause. Let's get him going, guys. Thank you. So we're going to do what we call the play game. The play game you can do with a toy or we can do with a treat. We're going to do it with a treat. So we get fired all wild. Then we calm him down. Then we get him wild. Remember what's the Springer Spaniel? Wild. See? Brilliant. Treat him. Excellent. Good girl. So we're, thank you. So we're not doing a retrieve yet. Only time I wouldn't do retrieves is with two youngsters, because we don't want any noises, and that could cause noises. So we're going to work on puppy recall, Caroline. Puppy recalls just follow me. So just follow me. And then we sit up. Now, look at the egg carriage guy. Were we going to want these puppies' little heads when they're retrieving? We're going to want that egg carriage eye. Brilliant. Now we've dropped it. Excellent. Give a big round of applause, please. Thank you. So, we've got the last thing we need to do before we can go into the actual retrieving scene, and that's the sixth day. So we're going to quickly teach them a sixth. Six. Remember with a youngster, if you're teaching a sixth day, don't do recall. You can do recall by one of the other members of family holding the dog and calling the dog to you. But if we're doing a sixth day, we must go back to Fido. Six. Yeah, because that's what we're teaching him. We're teaching him to sit and wait. Yeah, so we're going to go back now, because they're doing really well. These guys are seven months of age, guys. Brilliant. Big round of applause. And we're going to leave Dan on. Well done, Caroline. You get George ready. And this is little Danny. So we're going to put all what you've just seen into the retrieve. Up to this age, we've got Danny so he's wild for the retrieve. He runs in, he enjoys what he's been bred to do. But now we're going to try and control that. What was the last thing we've just done? Six, a six day. So if he can do that six day, we don't need to work on that. He's now ready for training, but we, need, we don't need to work on it because he can do it. We aren't going to throw that retrieve because that causes him to run in. Body action causes him to run in. So we're just going to drop it, six. We're going to go back to him. We need to get his mindset back on us. So what we're going to do? We're going to use that magic treat again. Bring him back. See, we don't go too far. Remember in good dog training, guys, in competition, you cannot touch your dog. So everything's got to be done with your hands. Danny, get out. We're going to put the treats away for a second. We're going to bring Fido back to us. And we're going to look at presentation. Danny, sit. I know you've done this three times today. Sit. You can do it. Excellent. Give him a big round of applause, please. <laughs> Danny. So, six. We did that six day. We've got that off to a T now. <laughs> Make a noise if he's not focused. <laughs> We're going to go back to him. We're going to do puppy recall. What was puppy recall, guys? Follow me. So we follow me. Six. Don't turn yet. Six. Puppy recall. Six. He'll finish. Treat him. We're rushing a bit, but we've got 30 minutes. Danny, get out. Excellent. Oh, come on, Danny. Big finish. Awesome. Well done, man. Right. We've got the last one. Sit. 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 He said, I'm tired, Dad. Sit. It's very hot in here. It's not like being outdoors. Sit. I'm here. Sit. We're going to go back to him now. We're going to work on that sixth day. Sit. 
What didn't we do in puppy recall apart from with our family? We didn't do recall. So now we're going to do the same at body action as we did with puppy recall. Danny, as he comes to us, we get him to sit. We do a finish. We give him a little treat. We put the treats away. Remember the smell's still on your hand. We're going to clap our hands. Sit. That means sit, not run in. That's better. Danny, get out. Excellent, guys. Let's finish on a good one. Come on, Danny. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sit. Sit. Just once. Sit. Last time, and then you can have some food. Excellent. Brilliant. Right. Louise, come and get him. Get, is your mum ready? Have you all noticed now, Louise is taller than me. Caroline just come in, cop. I've just lost the lead, but that's my age. There we go. Right. Come on this side, darling. We've thought of all sorts, guys, but make it more exciting. So, if you remember George, he was six months old last time you saw him. He's now two and something. Well, he'll be two and, two and a half, won't he? Right. So, just walk him up and down, let him get comfortable. Take his lead off, darling. So what we've tried to come up with, guys, where we are, we've got these massive ditches. And we know full well, George is very good at jumping ditches. So we try to simulate the ditch. So we're going to start off pretty small, and then we're going to build up to it. So what we're going to work on with George is memories. But what we're going to do, he's got to trust us that there's going to be something here every time he comes. So we're going to let him see the first one. You're going to turn him off, walk him away at heel. Now, I wasn't sure if the carpet would be slippy, but it seems okay. So we're going to really see if we can break our record today. When you're ready, Caroline. Let's get your timing right, George. Can you go back? Of course he can. Brilliant. Thank you. Caroline says, I can hear your brain ticking. It's ticking all the time with demonstrations. Right. So we're going to make it bigger. Of course, we're going to leave the two white ones so they know where to jump. Right. Just turn him off and then he doesn't see. Have you brought your bag in? You've not brought your bag, have you? She only takes a bag when she's shopping. Right. So we've left him another one. When you're ready, line him up and let's see what he can do. Excellent. Can we come back? Oh, he's buzzing tonight. Right. What's the record? I don't know. <laughs> but we're going to have a go at it. We've got two more retrieves to have a go at that record. What's that now, guys? About 12 foot. I know why I couldn't jump it. Right, you're going to do a distraction. Let me put another dummy out. Wait a minute. Turn him off. That's it. No cheating. Put another one out. Right, you're going to throw one towards our Louise. So now we're going to, he's got to trust us again, guys, that there's something up here. So we've turned him off that, he leaves that, and he goes for the one we want. When you're ready, darling. Yes! Come on, George, hit it, hit it. Yes! Brilliant, thank you. Shall we push it one bit further? Last retreat, last retreat, couple of inches. I think he were at his maximum then. We used to have one called Sport, guys. 16 foot was his record. But he did look like a stagger. Right. Walk him away, darling. No looking. We've only got miniature paint rollers now, guys. Somebody said to me, have you got something going with B&Q? I said, have a heck. Right. When you're ready. Go on, lad. Yes! Come on! Hit the jackpot. Fantastic. Brilliant, guys. Thank you. Right. I've got to try and match that now, haven't I? Right. Where's little Freddy? Have we got Freddy, guys? Yes. Little Freddy, last time you saw us in the main arena, wasn't actually born. He was actually running about in Rosie's tummy on this arena. So, this is little Freddy. Everything you've seen up to press, we've sent the dog from us, haven't we? So what we're going to do now, we're going to teach him the hand signals. 
Now, we know Freddie can do it, and we've only got about 30 minutes. So, we've not blown a whistle neither. Remember, everything we do, everything you've seen on your agility, what do they do? They use the body, forget the dog over that equipment. Of course, with a gun dog, we've got to get Fido listening. So, we're going to pip him to us. And we're just going to let him use his ears. I ain't going to put my hand up. I ain't going to look at him. He should sit because I've blown that whistle. We're going to hide three tennis balls in here. So, we'll put one in this corner. You've got to remember, guys, indoors, there isn't much on actual breeze or anything helping us. So, Freddie's going to have to work really hard to find these, but it should be fun. Just, I feel sorry for the cleaner later. See, so let's see if the whistle's working. Sit, excellent. So we're going to throw him a, we're going to teach him his first one, which is for go back. But we're going to throw him a distraction because we know full well he can do the hand signals. So we're going to throw one out to the right. We're going to clap our hands. Then as a Springer Spaniel, he knows he's on a retrieve. He's not to want till he gets to the retrieve. Leave that, get out. So he's on his way. Excellent. You thought about that this afternoon. Sit. Big round of applause, please. That was excellent. Thank you. No, I never bothered too much about you know, presentation, till I come to cross. And Paul Rawlings said to me, you better get that right, Slater. So we've concentrated hard on this. So the tennis ball is the worst thing in the world to do it really good with, because they'll fight you when you're trying to take it out. So you do it dead gentle, brilliant. What do you want to do? Pick that, go and fetch it then, good lad. Right, so we're going to, that's the first one to go back. Freddie, sit. sit. So we're now going to teach him the one to the left hand side. So I'm going to pop over here. Don't try and jump the long jump because it's a bit past your level, all right? So we're now going to throw the one to the right. We don't want the one to the right. We obviously want the one in the cover. So we're going to tell it, leave that and go left. Leave that. Get on. Go on, little man. Show us what you can do. Oh, he's under. <laughs> Excellent. I'm here. Brilliant. Sit. Sit. Thank you. Ready? Get on. Good lad. Get rid of the distraction. So we've one to go. We've got to do the right hand signal. Ready? You're showing off now. Sit. Mr. Rawlings will not be happy with that. So, we're going to walk up here. Remember, we have a saying, guys, the nearer you are to the dog, the more confidence it has in what you're doing, the more control you have in the dog. So we're going to walk a bit further away. We're going to throw that distraction. But we want Freddie to go right. Now, you watch. If I go like that, he doesn't move, does he? So it's dead important you can do that, because why I've talked all this time, I've used my hands. So, we've got to make sure Freddie only goes when I give him that command and... Body language. Leave that, get on. Excellent. Now, there's only one to find, so it's going to be a bit difficult. I'm not sure where it is myself. Have you disappeared in there, Freddie? I can't see you. Have you got it yet, man? You should have probably gone to Specsaver, so I know I do. Get on. Let's try it again. Get back in there. I think it's far left. Not that you're listening, but uh, oh, you're trying. I think he's got it. Oh, yes. Brilliant. Ready? Yeah. Heel. Now, I want to show you something. This is something I've been playing with, and it's quite funny. Freddy, Freddy, Freddy. It wouldn't be so bad if you came, Freddy. So, watch, bo watch Freddy's body action when I move my body. Oh, you cheat. He cheated. Never mind. Excellent. Give him a big round of applause, please. Thank you.
Right. Your mum and dad's coming on now. Let's see if they can do any better. Right. Molt, if you come and get Freddie and the girls come on, that'll be great. Always remember, guys, any youngsters out there, either get into dogs, get into horses, and you will be really safe and everything else, guys. That is the thing to be into. That's our Molly. Thanks, Molt. No, I don't have to call three, do I? Everybody remember Bobby from last time where he disappeared? Right. Yeah, you get the, the gun, darling. Right, Bo, come here. We're already straining at the leash. Anything can happen. Right, we've got our Louise shooting, but Bo, don't even think about doing that. Sit. Bo is the most laid-back dog in the world. Right, let me get my head into what we're doing. Bo, sit. Bobby, lead off. Sit. Sit. Right, who's starting hunting? Where are you going? I've not said anything. <laughs> That's because she did this at dinner time. Right, Bobby, you start off because Rosie's being dead naughty. Right, we're going to work the cover and sit. The old man has forgot the bag. Okay, don't worry. I'm under control. We're under control. There we go. Right, so we're going to start off with Freddy Pheasant. Remember, everything's made up, guys. It's only a bit of fun. Right, we're going to walk on. We've got George to do the retrieves on this side. Bob. Good start. Right. Caroline, could you pick that? Excellent. I'm back again. Brilliant. Uh, Louise forgot something, but don't tell her. Okay, Dallas. Right, we're going on, Tom. Are you struggling with them little caps? Because I did last time. All right. Good girl. Right. Our Louise actually does a lot of clay pigeon shooting and she beats all my mates. That's how good she is. Right, Rosie. Love a heel. And a rabbit in that corner. Has it not worked? Never mind, never mind. So we've got to leave the pheasant, guys. Pick the rabbit in the far left-hand corner. Bobby, sit. Bob, sit. Sit. Rose, leave that. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Excellent. Yes. Thank you. Brilliant. Sick. Bobby's going back to hunting. Okay, you're walking the teal. Caroline, oh, I forgot that, darling. Could you pick the uh, pheasant in front, please? Yes. Brilliant. Try and get him back over the fence. Come on, over the fence. Good God, George. Awesome. Thank you. So, he's struggling. Have you managed it? Have you got it done? Close it up. Sit. Just bear with me, guys. Always something goes wrong in one of my demonstrations. Right, we're going to hunt on again. Are we ready? Rabbit behind. Leave that, Caroline, you're not having it that easy. All right. Bo, there's one in that corner, because our Louise is only on one barrel. Bo, Bo, sit. Sit, go back. 
I thought you were going to end up on that gentleman's knee then for a minute. Yeah, excellent. Thank you, guys. Good lad. Sit. We'll go on a little bit. All right, you can have it a bit harder. Right. Bobby, where are we up to? Bob. Good lad. Try getting in. No, you're not going over there, getting in. Where are you? Where is it? Excellent. Fire a shot behind, Louise. Never mind, don't worry. Caroline, pick me the rabbit behind, please. Well done. Excellent, thank you. Bobby, our Louise's gun's tired, so don't worry, guys. We'll just pretend. What's in there? Is there a tempo? No, I'm going in. Good lad, go. On. Sit, right. We've shot a rabbit, guys, and somehow it's got in the tunnel, so let's see what we can do. Bobby, come here. Sit. Sit. Bobby, get out. Who remembers Bobby go out the arena? Now he thinks he's super dog. Hey, I... <laughs> Bobby! How did that get in there? Did you bury it the other day when we could be practicing? Never mind. Right, Rosie, you're going to have to get the rabbit. Because Bobby's been naughty. Bobby, come here, you've hidden you've your bone. Bobby. Rose, get out. Rose, get out. Get out. Where is it, Louise? Is it in the other tunnel? Rose. She's missed the tunnel. Excellent. Thank you. You've been watching here with Caroline Slater. This is our Louise. Thanks for spending your night with us. Everybody have a lovely time. Thank you. Rose. Rose. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. come on, I'm sure you can do better than that. That was absolutely fantastic. Adrian and Caroline Slater, yet again, quite literally, you pulled the rabbit out of the hat. <laughs> Push them through again, Adrian. Go on. There they go. That's wonderful. Give them another round of applause. Quite brilliant. So we're just going to clear the arena.